I stand against physical and emotional elder abuse. I felt scared and frustrated. I was kicked and bruised. I was told to shut up when I wanted to speak. I was a prisoner in my own home. These are some of the stories that go unheard of right in our homes, in our communities, and in our country. In Trinidad and Tobago, each month there are at least 12 reported cases of elder abuse. There are potentially many more cases that aren't. Aging is not a problem or a disease. Aging is living. And if we don't educate and change the narrative, now the cycle will continue and elder abuse will be a danger to our own future selves. I stand against elder abandonment. Many elders fall victim of abandonment when their caregivers purposely desert them and do not care for their well-being. It can happen at home, leaving an elder at home for a prolonged time without providing care and basic essentials. It can happen in a hospital or a nursing home. Leaving an elder in a hospital or nursing home and not looking back, calling or visiting. Abandonment can lead to an elder being depressed, ill, lost, confused, even lead to the untimely death. Elder abandonment will not stop on its own. It's up to you to step up and help. A simple message, call, visit can help us protect and help the elderly feel loved. I stand against financial abuse and material exploitation of the elderly. Financial abuse and material exploitation includes, but not are limited to, theft, fraud, and misuse, pressure or manipulation regarding wills, property, and inheritance. Financial independence is a key ingredient to anyone living a happy, peaceful, free, and fulfilled life. Yet years of service and sacrifice goes to naught at these benefits are taken misused restricted or stolen financial abuse is a crime and should be reported as one of the most undetected unreported forms of elderly abuse as this abuse happens not primarily by strangers but by those relating to or related to the elderly so let's all do our part. Let's put an end to financial abuse and material exploitation of the elderly. Don't they deserve to live happy, peaceful, and fulfilled lives, wouldn't you? I stand against neglect of the elderly. Neglect is the failure to meet an older adult's basic needs. There can be passive neglect or willful neglect. It tends to take place in a familiar setting. So, the abusers are often a son, a daughter, a grandchild, a friend, or in the institutional setting, a caregiver at homes for the age. How can you join the fight against elderly neglect? Education is the key to recognizing neglect. Be able to identify when attention from the elderly intentionally fails to meet their physical, social, or emotional needs. Learn how the signs of elderly abuse differ from the normal aging process. For example, unusual weight loss, malnutrition, unsanitary living conditions can be signs of neglect. If someone is responsible for paying bills and taking care of an older person, checking often on older adults who may have fewer friends and family members, be your brother's keeper. And finally, report elderly abuse to the relevant authorities. I stand against sexual abuse of elders. Any of these local news headlines sound familiar? Elderly woman sexually assaulted during robbery, suspect held. Woman, 85, raped, sodomized. Suspect charged with kidnapping, raping, 74-year-old granny. But who would want to interfere with a senior citizen, right? Well, some people prey on this vulnerable group with unwelcome sexual advances. To stop sexual abuse of elders, we must believe that it can happen. We must identify risks and inquire to determine consent. We must also believe what the elder says and not assume that they're unaware. Being a victim of sexual abuse can lead to depression, anxiety, and even self-neglect, which can result in a decline of physical health and ultimately lead to a shorter life. Let's work together to stop elder abuse in Trinidad and Tobago.